हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू ई कॉमर्स प्रोजेक्ट इन लारावेल टेन लास्ट वीडियो वी आर डिस्कस अबाउट लाइक अ लोड मोर लाइक यू क्लिक ऑन द लोड मोर एंड वी आर गेटिंग द प्रोडक्ट्स सो वी आर डिस्कस इन लास्ट वीडियो यू कैन सी इट राइट नाउ सो इन दिस वीडियो वी कैन वर्क लाइक अ डिटेल पेज सपोज यू आर क्लिक ऑन दिस प्रोडक्ट सो वी नीड टू वर्क एज अ डिटेल पेज सो हाउ वी कैन डू इट आई विल शो यू स्टेप बाय स्टेप ओके so first of all i have one request you are new in this channel or in this series so please subscribe and please press the bell icon so whatever content we are uploading so you always get the notification on also do you want to buy any product like uh, any script so just go to our official website errorsolutioncode.com and you can buy it inside script okay so let's start so first of all we need to understand our category work you know me know like here you can click so open the category you see it here right second point here we are up, like open like a sub category so you can see it also can work now we need to check our product so our product i open so same thing here is a oven slug here also oven slug like a here category inside you can see it oven slugs and here you can see it like men clothing inside like a fashion inside oven slug so is a all is a like oven slug wise like whatever there inside database we can show it here so we need to check also inside category inside we need to check okay this is the product okay, this is not product so what we can do it just need to go to like a uh, routes inside web dot php just scroll down so you can see it here like a category and sub category and we need to go to front front controller suppose here you can see it we are using like a product controller we are using like a one alias let's make some zoom out so you can see it clearly okay so just you can go to app HTTP controller inside you can see it like a product controller. Product controller inside we have write like get category. Inside we have get like first slug and sub slugs. So this is the slug we need to check inside like a product also. Okay, this is the product. Okay, this is the product. So we need to go here. So this is the not product. So we don't want to go here. Like this we can do it. So let's make another query here like a inside product model. Okay, this is the product or not product. So just you can type here like get product. Let's show you first like DD, and you can make like slug here. Okay, so you can easily understand what I am talking about. Like save these files, and I just go back, refresh the page, so you can see it. I got this slug here. Suppose I refresh the page here, so you can see electronics I get here. Suppose I refresh the page, so you can see it like a only fashion I get because here is a like one slug, here is a like a segment two, one and two. here is also one so what we can do it we need to check this slug like a, this is the like a slug yes 100% this is the products product model inside means product table inside slug so we need to check inside product model okay this is the available okay is available so this is the meaning about like this product as a means this slug as a product so we need to check like this just you can copy paste here and here you can change like get product okay very simple very easy i know we have used this variable here so we need to use like get product single okay now here we need to change like product models and here we need to pass like a slug so let's go to product models and inside you can see it like a lots of function so we need to create another one function to get slug otherwise you can see it is count there so we need to create one another function like here let's make a get single slug just copy this function name and you can go here static function get single slug and here you can provide like a your slug simples now you need to copy like a bottom code and you can put year code okay so this is the work and we can change it like a first and also we need to check this product is active not active and also not deleted so simple you can copy these two lines here like product is active not active and you can put here like you can see it here you see first of all we check is not deleted also is a active means so both is a zero zero suppose you are follow this it so you can understand easily i save this files also i save this files and i will make here dd okay so simple just go back again refresh the page so you can see it here we are getting the data suppose i can go like this okay so i can add like this as so is showing the null means about is not found so is going to another conditions okay so this is that done now we need to put here one condition like if like here if 
is not empty meaning about this product single is not empty so it's going to here and here i can make like a else if same like we did here else if same thing we can do it here else if so let's refresh the page we can check is going to here is going to else part so i refresh the page so meaning about is going to this condition is working very well because here i getting the products second point we need to go and we need to refresh the here so you can check is working very well because it's going to like a else if condition here okay now last step we need to refresh the page so we need to check where is the going so also can working is going to fashions so meaning about like this one not working means we need to create here new file and we need to show you so simple you can go scroll down like a category get category you can go and put here everything just copy everything down here okay is very simple no difficulty anything now we can leave it like meta data meta description meta keywords category sub category we don't need just remove get product we don't need just remove and no need pages so just you can remove everything also we don't need any filter so also you can remove it okay this is i already explained in last few videos now here we can change like make like a get products single so it's good now we need to create a new file before create a new file we need to provide here meta title meta description meta keywords for this product listing so let's open our database so i can go because this is the i have check themes which themes we need to use means which page we need to use for the detail page so i already open so don't worry i will show you but let's make first database inside mean database table inside we need to confirm what is the meta title what is the meta description for this product detail page so taking a few seconds one minute sometime i open first time this reason is taking time so he is open so okay is open done so i just ecommerce.com and i am going to product and here i can check like a uh, meta title meta description is available like here is a uh, meta title meta descriptions okay here we have not did so meaning about we need to your short description is a meta description and title means a meta title so simple just copy and paste here like here you can do it like a meta description means the short here you can change also variable name like this and we don't need meta keywords so just remove okay and here you can change also get single to here and you can put here like a title short short description is going to like a meta description and like a title is going to meta title so meaning about like all is set now done okay now we need to create a new file like a product inside list so we need to create a new file for the details so just you can type like a details and we can go to resources inside uh, views inside you can see it like product inside we need to create a new file like detail.blade.php okay so file successfully created so is taking okay file is created you can see it here let's go back again and here i can refresh the page so you can see it any error not found okay now you can go to like a list files and you can just copy like a above thing you can copy all and put here and after you can remove we don't need like script so just you can go and remove because this is the all is a filtering script we don't need any more and also you can remove like a uh, here there like a main we don't need right now and just you can remove this style okay let's save this files and just go back again we can refresh the page so we can check other filter found and also meta title meta description also found this is working not working you can see it like meta title also working let's close other tabs we can leave it okay let's close other tab we can leave it okay you can see it like meta title found and i just click on the control u so so you can find out in description you see short description also found meaning about like a uh, meta title work and meta description also work okay now we need to do our detail page so first we need to check which detail page is a good suppose you are already download mola e-commerce themes so it's good suppose you not download so you can check my first video and you can download okay once you can open so look like show like a uh, i will check like default i will check like a uh, extend info i like it these themes action info here is a description additional information shipping and review so i am thinking i use for this like same like amazon you can see right side product left side is the article here you can do it like add to cart 
and here you can read it there like a review shipping additional description i know it look like not look like amazon but like similar so we can use this is the detail page for this one whatever do you want to like you can use your end i like this is the detail page so i'm using this is the this is the like product extend.html for detail page okay so let's go back again and uh, we can open this file let's go to my folder so this is the, my folder and here you can see it like a product extends html so just go and drag here now you need to go to again list.blade.php and you need to search like main inside a product extend.html just you can search so you can see it and you can make a minimize and you can copy all very simple just you can go to any file and you can search like a class is equal to main and you can copy inside all and you can put inside detail okay you can put dance and now you can go back again and we can refresh our page so like let's see how it looks show so it's working very well whatever here there same look like show here you see it wow amazing everything is good now you can see it here but our detail page not look like our original information look like so we need to copy to put here inside detail page and also we need to make like our title dynamic our like a uh, home product extend descriptions everything we can make it dynamic i don't know my side is the background sounds so sorry about that okay so now we have set up like a descriptions means uh, we need to change some items like a uh, detail page we need to change and uh, means a uh, description we need to change here additional information we can leave it shipping returns we can leave it, and review we can leave it but description i don't like so we can remove it now okay so let's make some mute okay so just scroll down and we need to remove all description just copy this word product informations and just you can find out so you can see it here and here is a tab about like description tabs just you can minimize and you can see it like a, this is the tab like a container about information just copy all tabs like here and open our main one and you can see it here just scroll downs we don't want to use like all thing just you can see it for the contents so we need to remove and we just put this ones we don't need like images part here so just you can remove like this and you can put this one like product description content product description content let's go back again and we can refresh the page so we can see it's working not working okay so just go back and here you can see like description additional description description same but we can change using our database okay so you can see it here so it is working very well in this video i have explained how to create a slug wise means i already slug created how we can implement for the product detail page so we have done here in this video next video we can make all things a dynamic and here is the background sounds very high so i can't do it right now otherwise you can misunderstanding something this is the reasons okay so i hope you can understand everything what i explain in this video like we have created first one routes means routes already there so we have made just condition here inside product controller and product controller inside we have check okay this is the product so we go inside otherwise the category and sub category so it's going to inside inside and suppose is like only category so going to inside so all things set up done inside a controller side just we need to make a detail.blade.php is a dynamic so next video i can show you how we can make dynamic and i have one request do you want to like this video so please like and do you want to see like this video more so please subscribe our channel and i hope you can already subscribe and thank you for watching error solutions